Thank you to Game Work Create for being a channel partner. Looking for a Kickstarter game you missed or 3D printed minis? Game Work Create has a huge selection available, all at a fair price. Use the link in the description below to check out all that Game Work Create has to offer. What's up, Rockstars? How's it going? Today I have a whole bunch of details for the just launched Kickstarter campaign, Limbo Eternal War 1.5. This is a hidden gem of mine that I want to tell you guys about, and so I'm really excited to give you all the details about what's new, what's available, all that stuff right now. Now, as always, a huge shout out to my patrons and YouTube members for the financial support. It is through them that this channel can remain independent so that I can give you my honest opinion and not my wallet's opinion. They are by far the single biggest contributor to this channel, and that allows me to do any video I want on any game I want, whether it's financially viable or not. So if you appreciate me being able to cover everything that I want to show you guys and not being having to drift by what's popular or who wants me to say what and all that kind of stuff, there is a link down below to that. And of course, there's a hop in Discord that you can join. There's giveaways, there's game sessions, there's a weekly audio uh, upload of mine where you get to hear everything about what I'm planning in my life and all that sort of stuff, all the behind the scenes stuff and pulls a whole bunch of stuff there. If you so choose, I'd greatly appreciate it. But if not, that's fine too. I like on the video or even just the comments saying this video was helpful, helps me out a lot and makes it me know that this video was good because I make these videos for you guys. If it was just for me, I would just play the freaking game. I wouldn't like do all of this. This is for you. So if you appreciate it, do let me know. That definitely makes it worth my while. So without other way, let's go ahead and get started. Now, disclaimer, of course, of course, this is a preview page and like every single preview page I've ever seen from any company, from the biggest company to the smallest company, I kid you not, it's always last minute changes. It just is how the, the way things go. There's been one time, if I recall correctly, that there's ever been something where that nothing changed since I showed it. So disclaimer there, stuff can change. They're busy working on it. This is actually still a fair bit before it launches too. So just keep that in mind, you know, subject to change. Anything I say might be different or wrong by the time it comes out, but I think we got the general idea here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what 1.5 comes out. Now, actually, before I move on to that, I do have a review out for 1.0. So if you want to see baby KOA talking about a game and when he didn't really know how to review things, th that'll be linked below, I'm sure. There's probably also an unboxing I did with some crappy camera at some point too. If you appreciate this 4K face, that's thanks to patrons as well. <laughs> Let's move on from that very quickly. Um, but no, seriously, I'll, I'll link both those down below. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and first, before anything, let's just look at the pledges right here. What do we got? We got the one dollar. Notice this is in Australian dollars. Uh, they are uh, based in Australia, so they're in like a whole different time zone, like like time space continuum. Like they're a day ahead of like most of the people that watch this channel, or at least half a day ahead. So uh, to them, they're in the future. I hope it's doing well up there. I'll see the future tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> Uh, so let's take a look here for 35 bucks or 35 Australian dollars again. So that is different. Okay. Um, the, this is actually a little bit higher than us. You can get the 1.5 upgrade kit. We'll look at the us prices in a little bit here. And that comes with a uh, new game board. As you can see, the game board's different. They're going to update a lot of the cards in the core. They now got like, a. Uh, some uh, Lord trays and stuff like that. I'll go through that uh, as we move through it. But either way, you'll get kind of the updated stuff. So if you already have the 1.0 and all you want is a 1.5 upgrade, you can get that. They're selling it at cost. They're not going to make any money off this. There's no plans to make any money off this. And uh, it's pretty easy to find that out too because there's only so many people that bought the 1.0. So <laughs> you can just price it based off that. Like people are going to buy more than that. Next up, you have for 95 Australian dollars, you got the Saga of Noadin. This is the new expansion, new faction. We'll look at that a little bit here soon too. Then for 110 AU, you got the expansion plus the 1.5 kit. This is the I want everything new that you have to offer, minus one thing I'll mention in a little bit. But uh, this is pretty much what you would get if you have 1.0 and you're like, now I want, I want it all, right? you can go through this. Um, and uh, then we have the 1.5 game. This is the 1.5 version of the whole core game. So you get the whole new thing. That's for <clears throat> 185 Australian. 
For 260 Australian, you can get the core game 1.5 plus saga note. And this is, I want all the main meat and potatoes of everything you have to offer. You would grab this. And then the all in here, assuming they keep that name, is for 360 and comes with like the Demons and Angels expansion as well. So let's go ahead and I'll go back up and scroll through everything. Okay, so right at the very top, you can see they actually have a real goal. That's not always nice to see. 147,630. They hit that, then they funded. That actually pretty much seems realistic. Oh, man, what a co freaking concept there. So not doing no $50 goal, not doing no $500 goal. This is like an actual, like, semi-legitimate goal, as best you can do. I mean, it's all guesswork anyway, but you get what I'm saying. So that's nice to see. Um, as you can see, there is some new stuff here. I'll dive into that in a little bit here. So... Right now, we have the, for $140, you can get the 1.5 core game right here. We come in two boxes. These boxes are going to be different. They're going to be including all the previous campaign stretch goals in them. Uh, so you won't have a whole bunch of all these extra boxes like the 1.0 had, where it didn't it didn't fit everything in. They're actually going to put the other lords in there and stuff like that. So that'll be nice. You have the Kingdom of Aslan. Oh, also, they're separating where each box is essentially a faction. So if you, you, know, you want to go play with your buddy and they're like, okay, I want to play Demons versus Angels or whatever, you have these two boxes, leave the node in box there or if you want to know it in then you can bring that in <clears throat> and that's really nice to see that they're thinking about practicality in that so they'll be a little bit bigger than the current ones that we have from the 1.0 now before i go any further i actually want to show you some of the minis this is from their resin 75 i painted this a long time ago so please forgive the, the the paint job but you can kind of see the design stuff like that this is actually pretty representative of the uh, minis though they are amazing minis you guys know i know my minis they are fantastic top tier miniatures. You'll see some close-up pictures down below. This is the, more the scale that they're normally at. This is actually an actual miniature from 1.0. It's one of the resin ones, but uh, yeah, no, they are fantastic. Now, before we continue, I actually wanted to just quickly show, and this is not a sponsored video at all. I've got no money. They've never asked me to do any of this. I just, I got it in the mail. It was supposed to come earlier, so I wanted to show it off, but as you can see, freaking sweet Into the AM shirt. I'll put a link down below to Into the AM, so if you want these cool shirts, you can get a 10% discount. Again, this is not a sponsored video. I don't want don't want anybody assuming that, but they're freaking cool. You guys know I like the nerd shirts, so I got that one and I got this one. Just want to show you real quick. There you go. There you go. They're sweet. You'll be seeing them in a few videos. I'll be wearing these for the next three days because I got three of them. So uh, anyway, let's, let's, let's get back to this. Really, 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 really good miniatures. Cannot stress that enough. They're really good. To this day, they are really good. Top tier. Okay, so as you can see, amazing minis. And you can see the the, the skill size here. These lords are huge, right? These normal ones are like 40 millimeter, 45 millimeter, you know, like they're, they're fairly large minis. And then you have these towering lords too. There's another picture down there. Oh, you can see right here. Here's 180, right? For for this one here, 145 for them. So they're they're nice and big. They're 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 chunky, right? Because if you think about it, like she's just right up here, right? And there's all of this left. So a lot. And as you can see, no repeated sculpts. These are all unique sculpts, and they are fantastic sculpts. Multiple, multiple pieces. These are not simple flat minis that you normally get. These are very dynamic and detailed miniatures. So really, really good stuff there. Then you have the demons. As you can see, you have Wrath here and Gouge and Gluttony. I painted Gluttony uh, long, long ago, so I hope you guys liked him. All right, so in, yeah, I mean, these are just fantastic. Malcrum was what sold me on this game. Literally, when I saw him, this freaking, like, kingly, golem, skeleton, necromancer-looking lord dude, I was like, I, I need this game. The theme is freaking cool. These guys look great. Lots of cool minis here. And then, as you can see, a new game board, new lord trace. You get two of them. They're doing a new rule book. Uh, you get the dice, you get an initiative coin, you get some three elements for objectives and stuff like that, some tokens, new red t uh, uh, gems as well. The tokens will actually have the name of what it is on the other side, so you know what it is, which is kind of nice, but there will be a mechanic around that as well. And then, of course, updated cards. One thing to note here, this isn't really showing too well, is it is that box is what you need. So you will have a map for the angels or whatever, right? The the kingdom of Aslan in here with the, the dice and cards that go with that. So you can just take that box and it's got everything you need to play that faction. Same with that. So they'll actually split it between the two. It also evens it out a little bit, which is nice, but I think that's great that they're doing that. I think that's a really, really cool idea. 
So it won't just be this game board. It'll be game boards, right? You're going to get a few there. Um, here's a picture of somebody who is a much better painter than I am. Okay, let's go to the add-ons. This is the new stuff. The Limbo Eternal War, the Saga of Noadin. Uh, it tells you a little bit about him. You get this freaking, like, ice chick thing going on here. Uh, Yasa is super cool. Super cool. Look at that. 70 US. 70 US for some of the best minis in a board game you have ever bought. Um, with a pretty cool game. Uh, high level point, I guess, if you don't want to watch the review. Uh, you have your, your, your units and it's kind of an army builder. So you pick your units and you have to pick so many, uh, a one lord and then so many heroes or characters and so many troops, right? But you can go troop heavy, you can go hero heavy, you can do a lot of stuff like that. There's a lot of interdependency between that. Uh, case in point, let me go up here. You have these, the Rose's Thorns and then Rose Knights. And then you have like Ilya here, right? So it, it, she's the Rose Knight Captain. And you also got these and you also got these. Now you have all these roses. And what they'll do is they'll be like, if one dies and you're so close to it, you get a, a, a better attack and you buff the Rose Knight. So there's a lot of stuff that works between the miniatures. It's not just the miniature and, oh, this miniature acts this way, this miniature acts this way. There's actually within the faction different things you can do. Uh, to, to kind of lean one way or the other. I've built one, I built an army where all you do is try and control the other characters, like the other army. You know, you can like mind control them and stuff like that. You can, you can go super tanky and, you know, get, get, you know, Veronica here, Raphael, and then there's the shield guard and Rodrigo and Betra guard and stuff like that. If you just want to go super, you know, uh, very hard to kill, you know, high HP and armor, stuff like that. You'll get these different abilities you can have and they cost fate coins. Um, or fate uh, gems. And those fate gems, you essentially have to give to your other opponent. And so you have to decide, I could spend seven and do this awesome move, but then I'm giving that to my enemy to use again. So it's that kind of push-pull, do I want to, do I not? You could choose to not ever use these abilities. Let him, you know, your opponent use them, and then you've, you've now fate-starved them, and then maybe you go all out. There's a lot of mechanics around that you can do. So you're you're building it based off of, you pick a divinity, it's a point-based system, then your lord, so again, you, lords will cost different amounts, so maybe a big, strong lord, or maybe a weaker lord, but then you have more points for your other units or whatever, or maybe an expensive divinity. Then you have your, your troops and heroes, and then you actually have... Uh, a deck of cards that is either buffs or equipment or special moves or something like that. Um, so you can give, you know, like pacifism to one of your, your characters to, to turn the, the person into a, a sheep, right? And they can do it at their level. So if you give that to your Lord, your Lord can turn this big guy here into a sheep. Hilarious. The bad guys have a trickster deity that they can do that actually allows you to steal one of their powers. So you could actually technically as a demon pacify one of the other lords so again there's a lot of build variety here one of the best army builders in a board game i feel bar none with that interdependency between the units especially um there's 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 a lot of games with a lot of options but normally they're they're siloed right this character does this this character does this they might pair well together but rarely do you see one where this character says if you have this unit here they get different stuff and if this unit here is there they get different stuff that interdependency huge plus in my mind there and there's some cool dice chucking involved too so it, now you know how to play it okay so let's let's go back to here right so you have these heroes you have some troops like the shield maiden and the bear clan warriors that you have uh, and then you have your your lord here, a new game board plus dice and cards. So again, you can take this Saga of Node and expansion box, but like I'm playing this expansion. So you're not having to take every single box out all the time. And again, that's like 70 bucks for a, a 120 millimeter multi-piece amazing mini plus all of these. And, and as you can see, like the design of them, super duper cool. So really cool stuff there. Let's go to the 1.5 upgrade kit. Again, that's actually only 25 USD. That gives you kind of an idea. Remember, it was 35 for the Australian dollars. And there you get the red gems because the current one point only has the blue gems. Red gems, they're thinking of maybe doing like a two to one. So it's not, it's worth less to them. So you spent it a one, but they would need two of those to count for their one. And different stuff like that. Um, and then again, the new game boards. The game boards, they're thinking... If you notice, there's no terrain on there. The terrain's going to be an, like an overlay tile that you can do. It'll be much more crisper and no, knowable where all the terrain is. And that lets you vary it a little bit too. So it makes it really dynamic. Think kind of like the overlays of Arena the Contest. 
Same kind of concept there. Uh, new rule book that they're completely rewriting. Uh, the new cards and tokens, uh, uh, they'll all have updated art on them, but there might be some balance changes as well. And then there's also the 1.5 boxes and trays. Uh, this will do stuff like, like I said, they're putting other lords, two lords in there. So remember these boxes are going to be a little bit bigger, but it allows you to get rid of those extra boxes. This will just be the box. And again, it's at cost of like seven bucks, but obviously shipping boxes can be kind of expensive because they take up so much room. So shipping will probably be a little bit more. Just, just know that going in. For if you're just buying empty boxes, but you know, we've done it with like the monster box and deep madness and stuff like that. Like I think, uh, mythic battles pantheon had their big box. Like we, we understand <laughs> it's expensive there. Next up, they have the expansions again. They have it to where you can just buy a hero, an angel expansion, right? Which is cool. Like I like doing the theme stuff. Like I'm going to do the good guys, but only angels or only humans or stuff like that. Uh, so they have the angel expansion here. And again, it comes with, uh, some angel dice and then the angels all together. And then they also have a demon one for the same thing. Now, one thing you might notice here, these are quite large, by the way, that's why there's a little bit less, but you'll notice here that these two are new. You will be able to buy just the two new ones if you have the 1.0, or if you just like to. So they, they, they tend to be paired where it's like, oh, you can buy these two, or you can buy these two, or you can buy these two, or these two. Um, so you can kind of piecemeal them out for less than the 48 and 40 that they are. So just FYI there, but these are new technically, which means even if you get this <clears throat> 1.5 plus Saga of Noden, if you want everything new, at least for now, uh, you'll also want to add a little bit for these two here, the Nefta and Ether. So if you want these two, that's what you'll get there. All right, moving on along. What's different? So I already said revamped rule book. They're doing all that all new unit card. Uh, I really like the Sepia look. I really do. Like a lot like I actually really liked it I thought it gave it a really cool style this art though is pretty darn sweet too like this is some cool art so they're just cool freaking minis anyway I'm fine with it I I think it looks okay I'm 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 not I'm not I'm not too hurt about it I think the art style fits quite well new gameplay features they're gonna have a lore panel this is all work in progress um, especially like this part down here, but essentially you'll be able to have your Lord, but then also be able to, uh, add more powers or upgrade the powers. So see here, there's inspire frenzy two, uh, or like you get the aura of infinity rage, like the second tier of it. So it's stronger. So you can pump more points into your Lord again, just further adding variability to how you build your army, right? When you're, when you're fighting them, which would be kind of cool. And then the concept is you'll be able to track that your health and victory points on there too. Now, how that will all work. We'll, we'll see. The Ray Crystal I already talked to you about. Uh, let's see, uh, movement is going to be a little bit different. Uh, before it was very much left and right kind of chess style. They're going to be adding the nimble keywords. So some units will be able to move diagonal, which would be kind of nice too. And then of course, other balance adjustments and stuff like that. So what are we getting if, if you know, when this thing funds, like what, what are we getting? What are stretch goals? Let's look at that. So you have when they fund in 24 hours, we're going to be getting this guy here. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name, but he, he has a little rose in his mouth. He's very pretty. Uh, but I dig it. I like that, uh, a, a, again, flowing helmets off, uh, casually holding the kind of rapier sword. Very cool. Uh, and then if they actually get a thousand backers, everybody gets this. What's nice about this stuff is it, it, it encourages people to back and share the word and, you know, tell, tell their friends to back and stuff like that. But everybody gets it. This is not a 48 hour thing. This is saying if we fund in 24 hours, everybody for the whole campaign gets this. When we get a thousand backers, everyone in the whole campaign gets this crazy chick with a giant sword holding a demon head. You want that? Share it with your friends. Let's get a thousand backers and everybody gets it. I think that's super cool. Then actual monetary stretch goals start. We'll, we'll get an extra map. Uh, then they're already unlocking a actual new hero. So we'll get a new hero unit, Ulfnir here with this freaking two bladed or two axe lunge kind of swoop there. Very cool. I like his kind of armor, actually. I think it's pretty unique. Uh, they're going to be upgrading the cards, actually. So they're upgrading the art here a little bit and then also the back as well. So this will be a new print file that they'll have to send to the factory and all that. So there's a little bit of cost there, which is why it's here. And it kind of pads it out until we get more stuff here, like more divinity cards, again, more build options. Uh, that, like I said, the divinities can add some pretty crazy stuff. There's stuff where you can steal fate from people or like I said, that trickster one where uh, you're able to copy one of their abilities and stuff like that. Uh, some very powerful divinity cards. They very much 
give flavor to your army that you're you're, uh, you're playing. So more options are obviously good. Then we get a whole new troop with three new miniatures and their unit card. Very cool. Very big upgrade. And it's, I mean, that's not that much more. That's what a, a, a hundred thousand more from the last guy. So not bad at all. Again, this all is all subject to change, of course. Then they're actually going to be upgrading the art cards. Let's see, you can give heavy plating to your troop or to your beefy freaking shield guys and make them even more beefy. There's a ton of build options there. I really dig that. They're going to show a little bit of highlight between the art and miniatures, as you can see. Uh, it, both are good. A little bit of lore. We're going to skip over the lore. Um, and now you can see some of the pictures of actual production plastic miniatures. This is what you get in the game. I am not kidding. It looks exactly like this. Just plain and simple. There are going to be some upgrades, by the way. So if you had the 1.0, you, you know that the backside of the shield looks a little weird at the connection point. They've fixed that in the new one, stuff like that. So no, no word yet on if us 1.0 people can get our hands on that or how that would work. It gets a little iffy there, but um, yeah, the, they're actually planning on upgrading. Uh, and I, I can hardly believe this. These are some of the best miniatures I've seen in any board game, and uh, especially on Kickstarter. And uh, they're actually going to be upgrading it even better. So they are aiming to do even better than this. Uh, there's the factory they're using has a new manufacturing process that can do multi-piece really, really well. They're hoping to get that plastic even crisper, even nicer. I mean, look at the detail here. This is a final product. This is not a render. The, these, these are real miniatures. Fantastic. I always tell you, look at the chains, look at the chains. Okay. They look great. The, the textured bases, the, the, uh, skulls with wraps on them and stuff like that. Really, really good stuff. I recognize that guy a lot. You can see a 4K unboxing if you want. So there's an unboxing. It's here. I'll link it down below though as well. And then of course shipping, which will probably end up with a range. So don't, don't be sold on this yet. They're still working on this, uh, right now, trying to get the latest and greatest info to you guys. So that is Limbo Eternal 1.5. Now, this is a very much an indie thing. This is not going to be like backing. Come on or some other big, big company or mythic games or anything like that, or Awakened Realms. This is a very much an indie effort, a, a passion project to get these fancy minis with this cool game system out to more people. So there might be a little bit of bumpiness along the road. Just go into it knowing that. Don't go in there expecting you're just gonna click back and then everything's gonna be like 100% smooth sailing. Um, the, it, it, it's a different experience when it's indie. It's a little bit more personal. You really get to kind of feel the creator a bit more. It's a very cool experience, but you definitely have to change your expectations a little bit when it comes to like response time, stuff like that. They do not have a dedicated group of people that can do that. <laughs> so just FYI going in there, this is very much a hidden gem indie uh, effort that hopefully I think explodes. It's a, it's a very cool game system that I really, really enjoy playing. And the minis are fantastic. The component quality is good. So it's just, it's all around great to see good stuff like this happen on Kickstarter. Like this is what Kickstarter is all about, right? So link down below to the uh, campaign that is live now. So at time of posting right now, you can go to the description, click the link, click back or look at what they have. Look at the updates and changes based off this video, whatever you want to do. Uh, that being said, on your way out, do leave a like. I do appreciate it. And again, let me know if this video was helpful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. I'll actually have them look at this video too. So if you have any questions for them, they might be able to answer a few on here as well. But I'm sure they'll be very busy also. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys again really, really soon.